Lesson number 10 e-commerce blogging and podcasting part 3 This session includes explanation and then exercise at the end of the explanation Let's begin the session by talking about e-banking So e-banking is the way of performing bank transactions using internet which simply means you don't need to go to a bank in person a customer can do a number of things using e-banking such as he can check the amount in his account make fd or fixed deposit transfer the money apply for loans pay bills etc These transactions can be done from any part of the world. All you have to have is an internet connection on your computer. So the good thing about e-banking is that it provides 24 cross 7 service during all days of a month. So it saves time and helps the bank to reduce the cost of transactions. The steps to perform e-banking are first open the website of the bank then enter the username and password and finally you're ready to carry out appropriate transaction some sites providing e-banking are statebankofindia.com bnbindia.com hdfcbank.com etc today virtually every bank provides e-banking facility let's know more e-banking can be divided into two categories transactional and non-transactional so a transactional e-banking involves financial transactions which lead to transfer of money such as paying bills account to account transfer etc while in non transactional e banking a customer can perform non transactional tasks such as simply viewing the account balance ordering check books etc now let's talk about e ticketing E-ticketing means making a reservation or appointment for a service via the internet. Using internet, you can not only check the availability of seats in bus, train or aircraft anytime, but can also reserve rooms, meeting halls or tables in restaurants. For these services we can check the charges that we need to pay at the same moment and by making online payment through credit cards we can confirm our reservation as well For example the Indian Railways has an official website www.irctc.co.in which is used for e-reservation purpose It includes services like checking availability of tickets, booking and cancellation of tickets, printing e-tickets, etc. Time for some interesting fact. www.bookmyshow.com is one of the biggest ticketing portals in the country. It offers advanced booking of movie tickets, show times, reviews, trailers, concert tickets and events. It was launched in August 2007. Now let's talk about blog. A blog is an easy to create website that allows users to share their thoughts with the world. The word blog comes from web blog. because a blog consists of a signed and dated blog of individual postings 
the topic of the blog can be anything from personal to professional. Blogging can be an interactive activity. Readers can add comments to a blogger's posting. Other persons can respond if they wish to, and thus a conversation begins. Lately, bloggers have become well-known commentators on the political scene, but blogging can encompass any topic or no topic at all. Here's an interesting fact. Blogger was launched in 1999. Originally, Blogger was developed by Pyra Labs, which was bought by Google in 2003. A web feed is a data format used to keep the users updated with the frequently updated contents of a website. Websites such as news and blog sites, medical sites, etc. They keep on updating the contents on a regular basis. Using web feeds, we can view information and updates from such sites on a single page without the need of visiting multiple URLs. A web feed usually consists of simple titles briefly describing the updated content along with a complete description and links to the full content as well. To access web feeds, you need to subscribe to the website. One of the ways to subscribe to such a website is known as RSS or Rich Site Summary. It allows to access sources of information called feeds. So when you subscribe, you'll get a feed, often a series of headlines and brief summaries of all the articles like the news headlines, weather report, audio and video published on that particular web page. Now let's talk about podcasting. The word podcast is a combination of two words, iPod and broadcast. A podcast is an audio or video broadcast that is distributed over the internet. It has a similar format as that of a radio or television show. As the distribution medium is internet, anyone can distribute his thoughts and opinions to the world by creating a podcast. Although the term is derived from the word iPod, but you do not need an iPod to listen to a podcast. Podcast can be accessed and downloaded easily on a user's computer or digital media player through the internet. You can easily subscribe to a podcast over the web and use any portable media player or your computer to listen to it. The good thing about podcast is that podcasting facility is free of cost. Podcasting is the process of preparation and distribution of a podcast. The distributor of a podcast maintains a central list of audio or video files on a server. This list can be accessed through internet by using a podcatcher. So what's a podcatcher? It's just an application software that is installed and used by the user to access the podcast files. It also checks the list of any updates and downloads the new files from the internet onto the user's computer. Some of the popular websites that host the podcasts are buzzsprout.com, soundcloud.com, automatic.com and podbean.com.